Assalamu alaikum. While I sit here enjoying the fireplace while the snow is falling here in Washington, D.C., Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam rasuli kareem. Being grateful. <clears throat> but I have to reflect that I just got off the phone with Imam Hanifa Malik from the Muslim House in Flint, Michigan. He gave me an update on the water crisis that they're having. And he said, right now, alhamdulillah, with the help of many people, including Islamic Relief, they're receiving lots of bottled water. But they're afraid that it's only going to continue as long as the cameras are rolling. And so I've spoken with them, and they have a concern that they're going to be like the people of Katrina. And after talking, we had a discussion and came up with a tentative plan, and I'd like you to think about it in your own communities and organizations to see what you can do. First is Flint, according to him, is a city of about 100,000. And after the big motor companies downsized or pulled out, they left behind many, many poor people. And the plan is that eventually, because of the uh, water from the Flint River that is corroding the pipes in Flint, that they're going to have to replace all of the plumbing, all of the water supply that comes to the people of Flint, no matter what kind of water you put in now, whether it's the water that they used to get um, or whether it's the water from the Flint River, doesn't matter. Uh, those pipes are now corroded and they are leaching lead into the water supply. Now, the federal government has pledged that they will spend maybe $1.5 billion in rebuilding the water supply system in Flint. But until then, poor people will continue to suffer. And therefore, we thought about a short-term, a long-term, and an intermediate-term plan while waiting for the federal government in their multi-year program to update the water supply infrastructure in Flint, Michigan. And the first is to help them in getting regular water supplies, um, bottled water into the community after the sensationalism wears off, but then an intermediate plan to put in the Flint Mosque, the Muslim house, a water filtration system. The Imam told me that you can go downtown to a restaurant or a bar and drink water because they have a water filtration system and people trust that that water is lead free. So we want the same thing uh, for that mosque and they can then become a site where people in the community can come if need be uh, and get water from the masjid that is clean and pure. The long-term step is to work with community advocates to get filtration systems into the homes uh, and apartment buildings of poor people in Flint, Michigan. That's going to require some community activism and organizing, and that's not where we are right now. But we are saying that in order for this word to get out, that we should host a webinar with Muslims from Flint to tell their story about what's happening with poor people and mostly black people uh, in Flint who are suffering under these conditions. 
and to help them with their social media campaign to continue to get the word out even after the sensationalism is over. So inshallah, I pray that I'll continue to be able to provide updates to you and your ingenuity and ideas, your prayers, your sacrifices uh, might be able to make a difference for the lives of people in Flint, Michigan. Till then, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.